let's have a look at the concept of Edgeworth box in this video and we'll work with the examples of consumers. Now before we go further, what is the intuition of Edgeworth box? Why do we have it? The purpose of this concept is to show that trade can be beneficial, is to show how consumers can benefit from trading. Now we will have a simple case where we have two consumers that can trade two goods, food and clothing. And because we have two consumers and we show it on the same graph, we will have two origins on this rectangle. So let's see how that works out. Suppose the green dot belongs to N. So N, um, N has food, which is the Y axis, the vertical axis belonging to N. And N also has clothing, which is the horizontal axis, the X axis. Now with the same logic, if we look at the blue dot of Bill and we reverse the rectangle to, to, to look from Bill's perspective, Bill's vertical axis is going to be this one, the food of Bill, just like it was in the, ca in the case of N. This is analogous. This is the same thing except that we look at it from a different angle. And the clothing of Bill is going to be his x-axis, just like it was in the case of N. Now, because the economy is closed, we have a limited amount of food and clothing. So suppose that in total we have 50 units of food and 100 units of clothing. Now, intuitively we can understand that because it's closed, the food of one person must complement the food of the other person. And the same logic goes to clothing. This is what we mean. So if you have a look at the yellow dot, we can see that N has 40 units of clothing here and 20 units of food. And at the same time at the yellow dot, Bill has 30 units of food and 60 units of clothing. Now let's see if that works out. 60 units of clothing of Bill plus 40 units of clothing of N at the same, at the same dot adds up to 100 units of clothing in total. So that works out. And by the same logic, 20 units of food of N plus the 30 units of food of Bill adds up to the 50 units of food in total. So that works out as well. Now this is the intuition of the Edgeworth box. In the next video, we'll see how this concept applies to the marginal rate of substitution. So we will associate the marginal rate of substitution of the consumers with this notion and we will see how trade works out.